Welcome back to Dungeon Master Therapy. How can I help you today? Have you ever had players make D&D characters that are so cringeworthy that you just want to take all of your D&D books and burn them into oblivion and then never play again? Well, I've had players make cringeworthy characters, but not bad enough to the point where I'm going to quit the game altogether. How bad could the characters be? Oh, I don't know. How about a red dragonborn bard that plays an electric V-neck loot and his favorite band is Dragon Force? I mean, that's not really that bad. That just sounds like a fun character. Whose name is Dragon Foreskin. <laughs> like, Dragon Force, but yeah, their entire name is a penis joke. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's a little cringy, but dude, come on, that's kind of funny. Oh, that's not even the worst one. What, is there another one? How bad could it be? How about a Kuatoa monk that wants to be a world champion boxer? So, a boxing fish. What's wrong with that? And their name is Pike Tyson. <laughs> Pike Tyson? That's hilarious. No, it's not! Now my entire D&D &D game is just turning into a bunch of puns! Dude, that's every D&D &D game! Oh my god, you're right.